guys, I went to Sainsbury's and I just had to hit two. My name's Vaughan and this is my channel and it's a happy place. Here I do shopping, hauls, unboxings, reviews and I've started doing a few things around the house. I'm a bit behind on it but I am this week hopefully going to catch up in quite a big way. Anyway, if that sounds like your kind of thing please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe uh, and leave me a comment. <laughs> You'd think I'd be better at that by now wouldn't you? Anyway, I went to Sainsbury's and they've started to bring out quite a lot of their um, spring collection, I suppose. I haven't bought a huge amount, but what I've bought, I think might work quite well transitioning me through to the summer. And of course their prices are great. So let me show you. First thing I fell in love with was this skirt. Now I bought a navy skirt, navy and white or something skirt the other day, but I really liked this one when I saw it. It's got a belt with a ring tortoiseshell, kind of a smoky tortoiseshell. Um, it's got tears. It's just a floaty, pretty, I like the navy and white on it. I can see this with flip flops, just really casual. Um, and this was £20, so it's not bad for a skirt. I, I like it. I'm trying to on it, but I like it. Now to work with it until it's the summertime and a little navy t-shirt would be enough, I saw this top. Now whether it'll work, I don't know, but it would work with jeans anyway. And it is this one. It's just a sort of a rail, ro rail? <laughs> royal blue navy, kind of very soft, long sleeved, not my favorite. Again, it might be a bit too high neck for me, really not sure, but it says, anything is possible in pink on it. I could see in my head, as I say, whether the colours will work, I don't know, but in my head I could see the navy top of the skirt, pair of trainers, uh, you know, comfortable, casual. This was £12. I mean, come on ladies, £12. This I got with no real idea of where I was going to wear it other than with jeans. <laughs> I got it simply because I loved it. It was £12 and it looks like a this. Isn't that gorgeous? That kind of pale grey but not so pale, it's not that white grey and it's got the rolling stones on it, the big rolling stones mouse that you see everywhere but they've actually made it floral and those flowers are actually embroidered on there. I thought that was just too cute for words, didn't really have a plan in my head but at £12 I was buying it. You know how I love a check shirt and normally I go for the kind of flannelly ones but again moving for spring summer they had this one oversized nice and big great colours I mean let's be honest those are great colours 16 pounds and it's lightweight it's not thick it's a very very thin cotton I could see that working with so many things and I loved the colours on it so I had to give it a go. Last two things, I didn't go too mad this time, last two things, one of them was another top, this one is a pale grey as you can see but I liked the slogan on the front for £16 which says Friday always. Again I can see this with skirts and things like that, uh, long sleeved, beautifully soft, is it soft on the inside? No it's not Thankfully, it's not one of those fluffy on the inside jobs. Um, I bought it sort of slightly oversized because again, I want it to be casual and fun. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, I just thought it was great. And I, that was, yeah, 16 pounds, so worth a go. Notice there's a lot more casual things coming into my wardrobe at the moment and quite a lot more separate. But I did find a dress. <laughs> They've got quite a few dresses in at the moment. And I walk around and I go, that dress would be great if it had sleeves and then I look at another one I go that dress would be great if it didn't have long sleeve you know for me their dresses are not quite hitting the mark at the moment I'd like them to but they're not this one is a wandering around at home very casual this was 10 pounds it's in their tensile range it is a I want to say a black I think it's a black it's just a completely plain t-shirt style dress with the splits at the sides. I mean 
as I say, they're moving towards, it could be a cover up for over a swimsuit, but I will wander around wearing these all the time in the summer because they're comfortable. There is not a lot to be said for it. In style, I would have loved it to have pockets, but of course, not for £10. You're not going to get pockets for £10, but it's a great dress. So here we go. Let me try them all on. You can give me some opinions, but I'm pretty chuffed with what I bought and I can sort of see what I'm going to do with them in my head, which is half the battle. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, outfit number one. So this is the skirt and the top. The top is slightly bluer than the skirt, but not enough to put me off. I'm really enjoying the skirt, guys. It's flouncy, it's floaty, it's covering a multitude of sins. It's sewn flat on the front and elasticated on the back. So really comfortable. I touched the top in to see what it would look like. I think that works. This top would work with a lot of things, actually. And I'll pull it out. I hope I didn't flash you too much of my belly. Because I also think it works just loosely sitting on the hips. I've got other skirts that this would work with. Um, and for £12, this top, I mean, I think that's amazing. I'll come in a bit so you can see the colour properly, because I wasn't showing it very well, was I? But I think that's really nice. Um, do I think they work together? I'm not sure. I'll need to look back and see. Because, um, as I say, I've got a question with the colour. But, as individual pieces, love them. Can totally make them work. This skirt will just work all the way through the summer. Just gotta check it doesn't make me look too monstrously big, but it's cool and it's floaty and it's, ah, oh, yes, it brings spring and summer to mind, really. And this top, I just love it. <laughs> Warm, soft, I don't mind that it's got a high neck. I think it's because it's got the writing on that it doesn't bother me so much. It is long sleeved, but you know me, so I pull it up. Um, yeah, I like both of these pieces. Okay, the Rolling Stones t-shirt. I've bought it too big, guys. I was worried about it being too small and I've bought it too big. So it's too big and boxy on me. I still love it, but this will be going straight back so that I can size down. I'm so <laughs> concerned about what my weight is doing at the moment that it's really throwing me off with the sizes that I buy. I think I might have even picked this up in a 20. I'm an 18 at the minute, but I was a bit thinking mm, they might have undercut it and then it would be straining on my rolls, which I would have hated. So I think I'm going to have to go back and get my true size. This is a true size t-shirt, which is nice. I love it, other than the fact that I have bought it too big. <laughs> this is just um, a skirt that I bought last year. I wear it a lot in the summer just with t-shirts. It's a Marks and Spencer's navy um, linen and I thought it would be easy to try these things with it because my head is going spring, summer, etc. Kept the same skirt on to try this top. It's a lovely top. It is really, really nice. The fit is lovely. The sleeves, the looseness, I like the band around the bottom. I think it's a really great great top but it's not me somehow and i don't know what it is i don't know whether it's too pale hang on my hair's caught i don't know if it's too pale i don't i don't know i'm not feeling it though even though i was feeling it when i saw it I'm like you know i think the fit is fabulous loving the fit but somehow yeah, somehow it's missing the mark for me and I don't know why. It's an amazing top, it's 16 pounds. Why can't I love it? I don't know, but yeah, I don't know. I'm just not getting the same love feelings that I have for the navy one. And yet this one is nicer in that it's got the band around the bottom, etc. But I would keep this blue one, navy blue one, over the gray one all day long. Maybe it's a colouring thing. <laughs> okay, kind of obviously this shouldn't be worn with a skirt. I would wear it with jeggings, leggings, shorts, that kind of thing. But I just can't be bothered to change again. I flipping put my hair back today. I should never put my hair back when I'm trying to do one of these videos. <clears throat> I get things caught in them. I just, ugh. Anyway, this top is exactly what I wanted it to be. 
this is great it is really light cotton almost like a chintz not not chintz what am i talking about it's almost like um I don't know what you call it anymore. Is it calico? I'm not sure, but it's just, it's thin, lightweight. I think the fit on it is great. I am loving these colours. Again, spring into summer. I like it as is, done up, obviously, as I say, not with a skirt. But it would equally look great undone over things. Um, I'm really 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 pleased with the shirt this just totally has a spot in my wardrobe and will be worn a lot okay and here we go with the 10 pound dress it's nothing special ladies it's not i'm not going to try you know i'm not standing here telling you trying to convince you that you know it's silk and it's fabulous what it is is simple it's a t-shirt dress it's black it's scoop necks it has nice sleeves, I'm gonna talk about the positives, I really like the sleeves on it. Scoop neck, it's not clinging too badly, although, you know, all these things cling. It's about the right length. I like the little splits at the side. This is about as plain as I would ever wear it. This would be worn with nice sandals, but predominantly trainers, pumps, canvas, daps, a nice belt, a denim jacket. All of a sudden, this becomes something really, really different. And it's £10. As I said, we should have pockets. But you know me and my obsession with pockets. But just changing the belt, honestly, ladies, you'd be amazed the difference it can make. It's comfortable. It's casual. It is breathable. I love it. 10 quid. So there we go. That was my latest little two haul. I do have some things from two home that I will be showing you in uh, the video of the bits and pieces that I've got for the room that I'm redecorating. But I picked up some ladies clothes and I thought I'd show you. I love the fact that the summer stuff is coming in. This dress, <laughs> I could leave it on. It's the first week in March. You know, what am I doing loving this? But I am loving it. Obviously, you're going to get nicer ones out there than this one. But this one was £10. It'd be nice with v necked wouldn't it? But anyway, nice bit of jewellery here. I am feeling bare there. I am really chuffed with what I've got. There are more things coming in all the time. So I'm going to be doing a lot more Sainsbury's hauls. Um, this was my first one, I think, of this year. Certainly for spring. Getting spring ideas going. And with the exception of the one top that for some reason I wasn't feeling, I love everything that I've got. And they're so reasonable. £10, £12, I think £20 was the most expensive thing with that skirt. And I think that that skirt, I will wear the heck out of that this year. <laughs> anyway, I hope you're well. I hope you get a chance to go to your Sainsbury's. But if not, do remember that they are online too, online. Uh, and sometimes I've done better getting the size that I want online than I have in store, even though I have a superstore near me anyway that was it that was Sainsbury's that was my oh god I'm gonna take this off because really it is <laughs> it's not warm enough yet for this but most of my body is going <sighs> anyway I've got a bit of a sore throat can you hear it anyway I'll see you soon guys bye